Now the central moment. Central moment when we are restricting or constraining ourselves to consider to consider this capital A in the general definition of a moment at the arithmetic mean for this set of observation x1, x2, x1, xn. Firstly, we shall consider without having any frequency and next we shall derive the same result or write down the same result for the set of statistical observations with having some frequencies. Okay. So, central moment means this general moment in this general moment formula in this definition of general moment we are constraining ourselves to restrict or to consider this arbitrary real constant specifically as the arithmetic mean for this set of observations whichever we have considered here. Okay. So let us now write down that very. First we have considered the set of observation x1 to xn without having any frequency. So what would be? A means x bar. x bar is the arithmetic mean of this set of observation. So when the set of observation each without having any frequency. And notationally we are writing the earth central moment. Notationally we are writing the earth central moment A moment earth central moment m small m subscript r this is equal to 1 by small n summation over i equal to 1 to n into xi minus x bar whole to the power r. We are already familiar with this formula. Merely in place of a we have written here x bar. x bar being the arithmetic mean for the respective set of observations of the statistical data whichever whatsoever we have considered here. Okay. Now if this set of observations x1, x2, x1, xn b with having some frequencies. And you already know because in my previous lecture I have also stated that very that x1, x2, x1, xn is the set of observations and we have taken the frequencies, frequencies frequencies f1 to fn. f1 is the frequency for this x1 observation, f2 is the frequency for this x2 observation and uh, so on. Uh, for this xn observation, fn is the respective frequency. That means fn is the frequency for this xn observation. Okay. And we are modifying as uh, we are rectifying or modifying the very formula for this set of observations. So when uh, the set of observations is with having some frequencies. Uh, and in case of the general, uh, formulation of the general formula we have written. Similarly, we shall write here. This is equal to when the set of observations is with having some frequency 1 by capital N summation over I equal to 1 to N Fi into Xi minus X bar whole to the power R. This is the Rth central moment. Okay. Fi into Xi. Fi is the respective frequency of the statistical observation Xi and nothing else. And capital N. We are already familiar with this capital N. This is nothing but the total number of observations as x1 observation is repeated f1 times x2 observations being repeated f2 times and so on xn observations being repeated fn times. So the total number of observations so when the data are x1, x2, x1, xn will be the summation or the addition of all the respective frequencies. That means f1 plus f2 plus so on up to fn. So here we have written the total number of observations in the statistical data uh, total number of observations capital N this is equal to summation over I equal to 1 to N F I. So here we have written F I. Uh, so, sorry. So we have written here capital N. Now we shall write down some specific moment. That means uh, specific central moment. That means when we are restricting this, uh, cap uh, this small r, subscript small r, as uh, some specific real numbers. The zeroth raw moment, zeroth central moment, sorry, zeroth central moment, m subscript zero. This would be equal to 1 by small n summation over i equal to 1 to n into xi minus x bar whole to the power 0. In place of r, we have written 0. In place of r, we have written 0. So this is equal to 0. And as we know, some variable or some constant, real constant or some variable, to the power 0 this is equal to 1 so actually this is 1 and this being the summation of this one term from 1 to n 
that is the summation of 1 up to n times. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 so on n times and obviously this would be equal to small n. So here we have written small n and small n by small n this is equal to 1. So the 0th central moment this is equal to 1. Carefully note this. And of course you have to remember because this notation we shall have to use in some theoretical result. You have to remember, you shall have to remember m0, m subscript 0, this is equal to small 1. Now we are calculating the first central moment, first central moment, m subscript 1, m subscript 1, first central moment. And obviously this would be equal to 1 by small n, summation over i equal to 1 to n into xi minus x bar whole to the power 1, 1. So we uh, have written nothing here. In place of r, we have to write 1, and 1 that means we have written nothing here. So, first central moment m1, m subscript 1, this is equal to 1 by small n, summation over i equal to 1 to small n, xi minus x bar. Okay, now we are separating this. So, this is equal to 1 by small n, summation over i equal to 1 to n into xi minus 1 by small n, summation over i equal to 1 to n, x bar. And summation over i equal to 1 to n x bar that means we are taking the sum or addition of this x bar up to n times that means that is x bar plus x bar plus 1 up to n times and the n times addition of x bar this is equal to n into x bar so here we have written n into x bar and 1 by n summation over i equal to 1 to n x i and you all know this is the form of x bar that means the arithmetic mean for the set of observations x1 to xn so in place of this 1 by small n summation over i equal to 1 to n xi we have written x bar we have written x bar clear and this is n into x bar and obviously after calculation of simplification this would be n n would be omitted and so this would be equal to x bar so x bar minus x bar this is equal to 0 this is equal to 0, x bar minus x bar, this is equal to 0. Carefully note that, the first central moment, this is equal to 0. The first central moment, this is equal to 0. You have to remember this. First central moment, this is equal to 0.